I'm standing here with Marcos Fioravanti from Foundation Interes in Ecuador. This project is the Earth Over Toilet Project Research. And my first question is, what makes your project special and unique compared to the other projects that are here? If I have to summarize, I would say that simplicity. It's a, it's a simple approach which permits us to, to get lower cost and, 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 and make it easier to, to adapt to reality. So I would say simplicity. What we have done is just mechanize the, the, the traditional concept of composting toilets. Then parallel advantages as a small footprint, low cost, quick adaptation. So that, that's the main. Okay, great. Um, how successful has it been so far in your trials and experiments? I would say that, 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 that we have been successful. Uh, we, all the prototypes that, that, that we have been developing with critical practices uh, has been tested since the beginning. So the, the first toilet that we installed was in, in Ecuador was in 2007 and since then all the, the versions has been tested and all of them are still under use which means that they like them. Uh, and then we have not other problems, we have not vectors problems like flies or something like that. We have experienced an adaptation process with the families. They at the beginning has, have more questions and call more frequently for fixing, but then after two or three months they learn how to fix problems, they adapt the, the, the toilet to their lives and that's incredible. So now we have some challenge obviously but, but yeah um, tell me a bit about the main challenges uh, or difficulties that, that you had to overcome or that you're currently working on well the the, the main challenge is opening market i mean this is something new so it's not only new for the users but also for the installers the the, the current plumbers knows how to install a water toilet but we need to teach them how to install our toilet so it's the, the, the some key bottlenecks that we need to break since we are just approaching the market like installation and users manuals acceptability adaptability and also legal and policy framework we need to work with because we need to have an official solution so we need to approach the health institutes, the environment institutes, so they approve our technology. So that's that. Those are some of the main challenges. And um, you've already touched a bit on it, but how far away are you from having a product that is mass produced and sold in the thousands and tens of thousands? Well, we we, we are about to do a, a big step on that because until now we have been improving our production methods but the next step is to do in injection molding so by July we will have the first 1,000 units that will be injected molded so that will reduce the cost and improve the, the looking of the product will be a nice nicer version so that I would say that would be like the, the, the main step to, to do injection molded. And probably at the end of the year we will have 300 toilets installed in Ecuador. In other countries as well? We have installed some demo units in other countries, in Africa and United States, Costa Rica. But now, as I explained you, Critical Practices is trying to look for, for, for new implementation partners in Vietnam, and also in Senegal. So that I would say that for maybe for 2015 we will be installing toilets there. Perfect. Yes, I have a Thank you. Very much. Thank you. Awesome.